Hello again my friends. This is going to be a very quick update to my hardware review for the MagTube Gunstock from ProTube. The reason I'm updating this review is because the folks from ProTube sent me these, this way, Pro Straps for the Oculus Quest. And the reason I wanted to review these is because I am such a fan of the index controller design that whenever I see any kind of an accessory that makes any controller feel like an index controller, I want to get my hands on it and try it because the index controller design, obviously these aren't the index controllers, but they're emulating it with the hands-free strap on the back of your hand. Now, as far as the MagTube itself, uh, I will link to my original review down below. I cover this in detail. It's a fantastic gun stock and all the details are down below. Today, we're covering just the pro straps. Now, there is some assembly required. You have to disassemble the original uh, magnet cups and insert some parts for the new strap. The assembly took me about 10 minutes, not a real huge deal. Um, let me start with the overall pros for this. The overall comfort and utility of these are great. I, like I said at the beginning, I love the index controller design and being able to just let go feels great. It's more comfortable, more comfortable to just not hold a controller the whole time, but also great if you want to chuck a grenade, you can just truly let go and toss it and reattach your hands back to the gun stock. The comfort is also great. This uh, big back of your hand strap, I feel like it covers your hand nicely. It feels nice and secure and comfortable. Also with this, I feel like the Oculus controllers fit my hand a little better, like the thumbstick is uh, more close to my thumb and because it sort of pushes the controller up your hand, it feels more comfortable overall, at least for the size of my hands. There are two downsides to this. One is that a part of the assembly, there is an adhesive on the wrist strap that attaches to the inside of the battery cover. And so if you're gonna be taking this strap off and on frequently, uh, disassembling it and reassembling it for whatever reason, you may lose some adhesive in the back of the battery cover where this attaches and so I don't know how many times you could take the strap off and on your controller and have it still be uh, sticky. Now you could theoretically have these attached permanently on your controllers whether or not you're using the gun stock. I feel like because of the height of the controller, like I said, uh, positions it nicely. And even though the cups add a tiny bit of weight, it isn't that much. And so you could theoretically just have these on the whole time. As for myself, uh, I won't be using these all the time on these controllers because my preferred Quest strap is the AMVR straps. I have reviewed those before in detail. I'll link to those down below. I prefer the AMVR straps because it's just a single cinch to attach it versus these are uh, two strips of Velcro, which are fine and feel comfortable and aren't that difficult to put on. But comparing this to AMVR, I do prefer just a single and it's attached. But just to say by comparison that these will not be my uh, permanent solution on or off the gun stock, but when using the gun stock, yes. The second downside is a mixed blessing because these magnets are so strong, which I think is a good thing, that when you're taking uh, your hand off, you need to hold the cup and controller when taking the magnet off. Because if you let go and then try to take it off, you can kind of see the cup starting to slip a little bit if I'm not gripping it. And so whenever I take the magnet, uh, take the whole thing off of the magnet, I want to grip and hold on to take it off. And then I'm free to do whatever, toss the grenade, whatever, and then reattach it. Um, it's hard to convey in video, but I can really feel it begin to slip out if I'm not. Yeah, you can see now it's really uh, starting to leave that and we'll just cinch that back in. The reason it's a mixed blessing is because I feel like these magnets need to be strong because when you're playing, you want to have that good solid grip and you don't want things to slip or fall off when you're holding the gun. And so these magnets have to be strong, but because of that, you need to give it a good grip when you take it off, then you're free to be hands-free 
and attach again. So downside, you can't be hands-free when taking it off. That's two downsides to this. And so overall, I'm really pleased with these pro straps. I'm, like I said before, I'm a huge fan of the index controller design and being able to be hands-free and feel more comfort is welcome um, in every VR experience. I hope we get to see controller design like this with all accessories and controllers moving forward because the index controllers are the future, I think. Um, I'm hoping to use this gun stock more when Medal of Honor comes out. I'm excited to try that this uh, holiday season, and I think the Pro Tube could be a perfect fit for that Let's Play. Hoping that'll really pan out. Um, that's off topic. <laughs> Overall, I'm pleased with these straps. They are uh, 20 euros with shipping, and if you play a lot of shooting games with your gun stock, with the Oculus controllers, then I think they are a solid investment. Okay, those are my thoughts on them. Thank you for joining me. We'll catch you later. See you. Bye. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.